Watch with Dr. Sang is sponsored by Sang Pediatrics. Well, this morning we are excited to kick off a new monthly segment here where we are focusing on the health of children with local pediatrician, uh, Dr. New Sang from Sang Pediatrics in Fresno. Dr. Sang, thanks a lot for being here. Hi, Kim. Thanks for having me. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, well, we are, as you can see here, we are talking about milk today, specifically dairy milk. And right. so my first question is, is, is dairy milk bad to give children? No, we pediatricians, of course, uh, advised to drink milk for calcium and vitamin D and all that but we only want to you know sometimes you can overdo it and we only want to advise people maybe just two cups a day okay yeah because if excess milk drinking is actually the number one cause of iron deficiency anemia which is yeah not not something you always think about okay when you say so so you say then the guidelines are that parents should only give two cups a day is that yeah. what this is these sippy cups yeah so i, I brought this along because i wanted to show most of the time you know you know we're busy and we want to give children what they want sure. and you know we're parents and stuff so two cups a day is what we recommend but what is four cups a day so i already poured two cups out of here so here's another two cups which is something that actually happens more common than not. So this is actually double what the recommended daily allowance is. And you see that it's actually almost more than a whole quart. Wow, yeah. okay. And now, that's a lot. Uh, uh, but you said this anemia. Yeah. How, how does milk cause anemia? Right, we don't even think about it, but, um, but there's actually protein in the milk that actually prevents iron absorption. And so when you drink too much of it, you're not, even if you eat like a cheeseburger or something, you're not going to get all the nutrients <laughs> out of it. So I want everyone to know like, hey, just keep it to two cups a day. That's it. And that's all you really need. And your baby will grow and okay. it's going to be okay. You promise. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, if, w what if we are concerned then that our child may have uh, an iron deficiency? Are there foods that can bump up the iron? Well, yeah. Uh, when we think of iron, some, we always think of red meat, you know, yeah. like, okay, I want to have red meat. And I, sometimes I even say, go eat a cheeseburger. You're, you're going to be okay mm -hmm. if it's mild. But when it gets more severe, it actually can cause heart failure, which is crazy. But yeah. drinking lots of milk will cause that. So, um, so in order to supplement uh, the meals, you may want to take things like red meats, but also make a spinach smoothie. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't think of uh, leafy greens as having mm -hmm. iron, but they do. And, um, and the more leafy greens, the better. And, um, and if you mix it with some vitamin C, like some oranges and things, it'll absorb the iron and counteract okay. it the effects of the milk. We also saw that graphic, it said beans and chickpeas, so maybe having them eat a little hummus That's with right. some vegetables or something. Yeah, like yeah, healthy eating is always something we should do as parents, you know, sure. and set a good example for our children. So I hope that everybody can take that along with them. Can we see signs of anemia? Is that like, uh, if there's coffee, right. you know, child is always tired? Right, right. Uh, of course, uh, fatigue um, is part of it. But as parents, we don't, we see our child every day. We don't, it's not always so obvious. Right. You know, when, when, um, when we see patients in the clinic, you know, we say, you look really pale, but the parents may not notice because they see the kid every day and it's mm -hmm. kind of a gradual process. Mm -hmm. and, but one of, the, one of the telling signs is if they start eating dirt, which is kind of weird. Mm -hmm. But something that we see as pediatricians more often than not is like, my kid's eating dirt and, and we can test the patient in the clinic, just a simple blood test to see if they have anemia and more often than not, they do. Is there a certain age that you can drink all the milk you want? Or is this something that we should, I mean, we, we know this for our children, but is this something that as we age, we should just always keep in mind? Yes, absolutely. So okay. we don't, we just get the daily recommended allowance. That's all you really need. Again, sometimes you can have too much of a good thing. I'm just trying to prevent any more blood transfusions for children, which is kind of crazy, yeah. but it happens. So I don't okay. want that to happen anymore. All right, well, Dr. Singh, thank you very much. Totally blowing my mind. Had never heard about this before. Oh so my gosh. thank you. Well, no, thank you, Kim. Yes. Thank you for having me on. Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, if you would like to watch the segment again or maybe find more information on how to contact Dr. Sang at one of the two Sang Pediatrics locations in Fresno, just log on to KMPH.com and click the tab. It's labeled Kids Health Watch with Dr. Sang.